What's going on YouTube? It's your man Fat Cat. Back at you one more time. I got me here the Cuisinart uh, toaster oven six slicer. So it's stainless steel. It says that it does toast, uh, bagel, bacon, boiled pizza. Keeps food warm. This is all that's printed on the box itself. I'm going to set this up in my kitchen. I'm also going to do the warranty on it. Also note, I bought this one from Bed Bath & Beyond. Came in at $75. The trick is, if you buy it in store, they will price match it for the online price. But you can't use the $20 or the 20% coupon. But, if you purchase it online, pick up in store, bring in your coupon, and do a price adjust, then you can get it for about 55 about close to $60 after taxes with it. It's going to be set up right here in my kitchen on this counter space. Alright folks, so this is what it looks like set up on my counter. I made sure it wasn't too close to anything. It's still plugged up. I left a zip tie on it. The setup. It comes with a tray. Not with the aluminum foil. I put the aluminum foil on the tray. Open. And the rack. Bottom. It comes out, I think. Come on. That's odd. I guess we're going to fix that and see what's up with that. Function, warm, broil, bake, bake, go, toast, pizza. Temperature goes from broil, 450, all the way to warm. You have light, medium, and dark. Down here you have the power button, and um, on the power button, the light should come on. Also, I'm trying to figure out why this bad boy is not open. Wow. It should be opening with no problem. Hold on, folks. Let's just, let's just see what's going on here. There we go. It's a little tricky. You got to get your hand up underneath the groove to get it out. The bad boy comes out all the way. Comes with the register product. Of course, the instructor uh, instructions on your manual. Oh, it's also a recipe booklet. Okay, we're going to see that. And a little, let's see. Oh. On how to do bagels, baking, broil, pizza, helpful hints on how to do things. All right, to get the best results. All right, let's find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, after fiddling with this for about five or ten minutes, uh, my toast oven does not work. Unfortunately, I plugged it up, left it in for a few minutes to see if the light will come on or the bar inside. Nothing. Open, we close the door. Did the same thing for the tray. Took the tray out. I think I have a defective one. I'm going to let you know what's going to happen. I guess I got to call Bed Bath & Beyond. Stay tuned. Hi, right, what's going on YouTube? It's your man again. So, I packed the stuff up. As you can see. Everything's packed up. Three boxed. <clears throat> I'm out here in New York. So, I live in uh, one of the counties, Queens. So, the one I bought it from, I took the last one. So, I had to search around. So now I got to go into the city or in Chelsea to go get me a new one. <sighs> or I can get a refund and wait God knows how long. No, but I want my toast oven. So I'm going to head to the city, cop this new one, see what's up. All right, YouTube, what's up? I'm back with my replacement toaster oven. I went down to Bed Bath & Beyond, got me a new one. While I was there, I picked up some items. Don't ask me why. Uh, the dish tray to do that. What other nonsense I picked up for the broiler and for baking. 
I had a twenty dollar gift, uh, twenty dollars off from Bed Bath and Beyond. So I spent that. Spent like four dollars, four or five dollars after taxes. So let's open up this one. Hopefully, this one works. So I took it out the box, and as I'm taking a look at it, I'm noticing like on my first one, I didn't have this. This one seems a little bit more newer, like it has been messed with. I think the one that I received when I was at the Bed Bath & Beyond, the other one was a return item that was probably put back on the shelf by accident or they just put it back on the shelf. Alright, so I took it out the box. This is what it looks like set up on my kitchen counter. Um, came with a manual, some, some instruction portions, basically telling you how to use it, helpful hints and tips for you to get the best, I guess, results on everything and how to register your product at the same time. Looking at the design, it's really nice. Just be careful because the door does slam when you close it. It does get a little noisy when it slams. All right. Uh, the rack tray does slide out when you open the door. I put a little formula, little motor foil on mine. So that's just me. Um, the top dials, as you can see, you got bake, bagel, toast, pizza, broil. Second one is temperature. So you're going from three, you're going from 250, 200, no, go warm. 200, 250, 350, 450, then broil. The next one is toast color, I'm assuming. Dark, medium, light. Yeah, toast shade, temperature, and function. All right. I made sure it wasn't against nothing too close or anything like that. I'm not sure if this thing overheats or not, but... I will be testing it out. I'll let you see some of the results. All right, folks. So I got maybe a bagel here. I'm going to put some cream cheese on it. And I'm going to put it in this toaster oven. Now, according to the instructor manual on Helpful Hints, they said to take out the tray and just use the rack. The, the drip tray portion, I put aluminum foil on it. It's a false habit. It's like you're doing in your oven. You want to make sure that it catches everything. Plus, it's easier to clean at the end, I believe. We're gonna pop the bagels in here, to the rolls. It says put them next to each other, like so. All right, but now the instructor manual doesn't even tell you what setting, I'm assuming because they leave it up to you. But it does tell you to put it on either bagel or toast. So I'm gonna put it on bagel or toast. It doesn't tell you the temperature, so um, I'm going to do 300. I like mine's dark. I wonder if I can put it between medium. I'm going to put mine's between dark and medium. And then power. Why the light didn't come on? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What's going on here? You are plugged up. Okay, the bottom tray wasn't closed all the way, so let's see now. Mm, okay, folks. Seems like we got a little issue here. Um, so what I'm going to do is unplug you. All right, let me find out. All right, folks, take two. Let's try this now. So we plugged her up. All right. She is set for toaster. I got her at 300. And I got it on dark. Alright, let's put the roll in. Home of the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be damned. The power came on on this bitch. So, I'm going with the understanding that the, the first one that I got was a defective one and it wasn't supposed to be on the shelves and it was sold to me. And as you can see, it's actually heating up. 
All right, we're going to see how this uh, this roll looks in a few minutes. I think I'm going to have to rotate it. Let me see. That sucker did get brown real quick. I'm not going to lie to you. So you know what? We're going to turn it down. Because there's no real timer on this bad boy. So maybe it was probably better off on bagel. But on this, I would recommend that you keep your eye on, on it. Don't go too far from it. But looking at it right now, it's only been, what, a minute since it's been in there? Pretty brown. 